just got back last night from Spain. We're heading out today because I have a couple of days off. Some stores in the area that we just moved to, some antique shops and other things like that. So let's have some fun. this stuff at my mom's house. And it's 2017, Derek Jeter is in an antique store. Another antique. Buzz Lightyear. Yet another antique calculator. Slightly creepy Pinocchio. Slightly creepy. Who? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Simba. Oh, is um, that Yertle Daffy. the turtle? Daffy's over here. Where's Daffy? supposed to be? A guy from Christmas? I don't know. So many Pooh Bears. Medieval Pooh Bear. Uh -huh. And then there's Dopey and Donald. <laughs> and Pluto. And Pirate Pooh Bear. I'm guessing each one has a different picture of one of the, yeah, one of our collectors, yep. You should get it. Mine. <laughs> we're gonna oh we're gonna get this and we're gonna have it out randomly when Casey comes over and just, just not even just not even, tell, coffee just not even tell her. <laughs> lost bag. Bad news, the airline lost my bag. They were supposed to leave my bag in Connecticut. You know this. The morning I was supposed to be flying home, I woke up in Barcelona and I had a notification from my luggage locator that's in my bag that said it was in Dublin. In other words, they had sent my bag two days after it was supposed to be coming with me, two days later, not the next day, not on the next flight, two days later, they started to send my bag to Barcelona. And I realized if it was in Dublin right now, I knew when that flight was coming into Barcelona, I knew that I would be flying out of Barcelona to Dublin at the same time that my bag was going to get to Barcelona. And all of a sudden I realized my bag is going to end up in a different country while I'm going back to the States. And that's a much, much more difficult issue to deal with than if it's just sitting at home in the States. Long story short, I, at the airport in Barcelona, I got them to agree that yes, when my bag gets to Barcelona, they will turn it around and send it right back to the stage. They have my home address and, and everything. I'm thinking no problem. When I get all the way back, Barcelona to Dublin, Dublin to Hartford, I turn on my phone when we land in Connecticut, and I see a notification from the baggage tracing system from Aer Lingus, from the airline, that my bag has indeed landed back in Dublin. When I landed in Hartford and I turn my phone on, I got a notification from Aer Lingus, the airline's baggage tracing system, that my bag would be sent Barcelona to Dublin, Dublin to Hartford the very next day, the day after I got in, because there's only one series of flights that gets you back home at that point. So the next day I saw that there was an update from my baggage locating um, system that my bag was now in Dublin. It had made it from Spain to Dublin, I'm like, great, it's going to be on the flight tonight from Dublin to Hartford, I'll get it this evening. And then it didn't. 
Late last night, I'm checking and my GPS is telling me that my bag is still in Dublin. So they didn't, it made it from Barcelona to Dublin, but it did not make it back home. So I am now at today. I have no updates from anything, but my GPS currently is unable to locate my bag. And whenever it's unable to locate it, it means it's in the sky. And I'm praying that what that means is it is currently on the flight from Dublin to Hartford that it was supposed to be on yesterday, that this evening when that flight gets in, which is in about four hours, I will get a notification from either the airline or my baggage GPS software or both that my bag is here in Connecticut and the airline should be delivering it to the house. Okay, update. My bag is in Connecticut. That is my GPS luggage tracing software telling me that it's here. Still no word from the airline at all. It's been in Connecticut at the airport for about an hour and a half. I haven't had any update from the airline. They haven't told me that they have it officially. They haven't reached out to me via text, email, phone call to try to do the delivery service. I live 35 minutes from the airport. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to drive to the airport, go right to baggage claim, and see if I can get my hands on it tonight because I'm sick of it being out of my hands, and I want to get this taken care of. So come with me. Let's see if we can do this. This is it. Moment of truth. Go see if I can get my bag back. Got my bag back. Yes! <laughs> One hour round trip, three or four dollars for the parking, totally worth it. That ends this saga. I'm Brian Miller, and always remember our world is a shared experience and an easier one when you have your bag with you. <laughs> All right, peace out. That's a whole ride. <laughs> yeah. <Yay>. Short ride. <laughs>